Can you show the process line and reheat line and where they intersect? A room is maintained at 75 degrees dry bulb and 50% RH. The room sensible heat ratio is 0.66. Apparatus dew point ADP is 38 degrees. The air conditioning unit discharge air temperature is 52 degrees, 51 wet bulb. If 10,000 CFM is needed to satisfy the design room cooling load, the reheat required at design conditions is most nearly what? All right, so let's get this given information down. We've got 75 and 50% for the room condition. So we're here. And then there's a room sensible heat ratio of 0.66. And the fact that they put it in parentheses here, I think that implies that that corresponds to an apparatus dew point of 38. You would hope that these would not be in conflict. And, and they're not, but just the way they presented the question, you might be reading it and wondering, well, you know, if I drew a sensible heat ratio of 0.66 using the protractor, would it take me to 38? And uh, the answer is yes, but it's not, um, you might worry that it's not. So I just want to acknowledge that. And let's, let's kind of try to convince ourselves that that's reasonable. If we start here, 0.66 would be about here. Um, and then this is going from here down to 38 on the saturation curve. If I've drawn that reasonably well. Now, I want to point out that um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the coil is actually 38. See, this is, this is what I think confuses folks about this problem. The apparatus dew point, the way it's being used in this problem is like the theoretical direction of the cooling process line based on the load, based on the sensible heat ratio for the room, which really is 0.66. So if you take this line and draw a parallel line from the room condition down, it does truly point to 38. But there is no coil that's running 38 in this problem because they wouldn't be using a reheat process if there were. One way to cool this room would be to make really cold chilled water, like 36 degree chilled water. So you could run a 38 degree coil and then you could cool along this process line. And you could pick if you wanted a supply temperature of, I don't know, 60 degrees, then you could just bypass two thirds of the air and run one third over the coil. And you'd end up with a uh, supply temperature of 60 degrees and the humidity would all work out. You'd stay right on the process line, happy days. But if you don't have 37, 36 degree chilled water available, you can't run a coil that cold. So what do you do? You either overcool and, and the humidity might not be on this line which isn't desirable, um, or you're gonna use reheat. And this problem is about reheat, so let's talk about what they're actually doing. The air conditioning unit discharge air temperature is 52 degrees dry bulb and 51 degrees wet bulb. So we know exactly what the discharge conditions are, and we can point to them. 52 and 51 wet bulb. Is right here. So it's going from the room condition, 75 and 50%. That's the off coil condition. And then it's going to reheat. When you reheat, you do purely sensible heating. And hopefully I drew this reasonably accurate. It looks like it's gonna intersect. So when you do purely sensible heating, you move horizontally to the right from that point, we're gonna intersect at 62 degrees. And that's why I was being very careful when drawing because I cheated and looked at the answer and saw that it was gonna come out to be 62. So the reheat process starts at the discharge air temperature of the system. 
which is 52 dry bulb, and ends up at uh, 62 dry bulb. And the question is, if 10,000 CFM is needed to satisfy the load, then the reheat required is what? And now it's just 1.08 CFM delta T, where the delta T is the difference in temperature across the heating coil for the reheat part of the process, which is just from here, coming off the coil, coming off the cooling coil to here. And so that, that's it, that's all there is to it. I guess the, the takeaway here is that we ultimately have to end up on the process line for the room sensible heat ratio. Uh, that's not negotiable where that line's gonna be. But the key in this problem was to recognize that the discharge air temperature is actually 52 and 51 wet bulb and the 38 ADP is just theoretical. It's just a, it's just an extension of the uh, cooling process line based on the sensible heat ratio taken to its extreme, taken all the way to the saturation curve. But it doesn't mean any cooling um, is actually happening all, all the way down to that level. So hopefully that answers that one. Um, well, the, the main takeaway there is that you are expected to figure out how to get from that discharge air temperature to the process line through the uh, that reheat process because that'll take you to that process line. And that's uh, the only thing you need that sensible heat ratio for is to figure out where that intersection is. Yeah, and there's exactly that's exactly right. And there's two ways that you could do it. You could draw the use the protractor and then draw the parallel line to that. Good luck. How are you going to do that on a computer, right? I have the benefit of. Um, you know, using a, a, a drawing tool here, but when you're in the exam, probably not going to be too easy to do that, you know, copying from here, and making a parallel line. But if they've given you this ADP, now you can just connect dots. And if you have a, some kind of a line tool in there and you can at least draw a straight line, you know exactly where 38 on the saturation curve is, and you know the room condition, you can draw a straight line and now you've got your cooling process line. And then, yeah, all you need to know is that the reheat is gonna be only as much as necessary. You wouldn't reheat any more uh, than you needed. In fact, it would be too hot. <laughs> so uh, you just wanna kind of get to that line and no farther. I think uh, Freddie had posted a question there and he wanted to know how you know to pick that intersection at 62 and I think it's just the fact that that sensible heating line intersects the process line at 62. Yeah, yeah, you could you go horizontally to the right until you hit the cooling process line. Frandy, does that answer the question, what Sean said? Yeah, that answers the question, thanks. Great. <laughs>